I think I teach the way I believe uh, about music. Students usually are taught to be relatively obedient to the score. It's like trying to build a house and looking at the blueprint and saying, this is it. And the score is only a blueprint. So I try to teach them how to cut through some of the, the code of the score. Wrestle with the score, that's my advice in all sorts of ways. Uh, it'll make for a more uh, involved and compelling performance because you have really tried to grapple with the essential meaning of the music. The music that we play is relatively old, but we need to learn how to look at a music score and make sense of it so that it's not uh, an uninvolved experience. Nice, nice. He seems to want this fourth beat. Um, from right. the, very, the very beginning. What is that about? I was kind of, quote, discovered, because I was three years old and I was starting to play pieces that my, my sister was studying. So this is a family legend that the teacher came to my mother and said, you know, your child is very talented. And she said, I'm glad my daughter's doing well. I said, no, no, it's your son. He's playing all the pieces and by ear and he's got nice little three-year-old hands. And so, on. so I started studying before I was four years old. That was in Bucharest, Romania. Then. Um, in the 60, early 60s, we emigrated to France, and then I came to the States. I was very lucky to be able to study with one of the great teachers of the 20th century, uh, Mr. Leon Fleischer, who was a great American pianist. I started teaching here in 1976, so I'm a senior member of the faculty, so to speak. I really enjoy the work here in the sense that it involves uh, very intense teaching with very bright, interested students. There's also a lot of performing involved on campus and off. And lately I've been also involved in quite a bit of lecturing. I have uh, 15 piano majors, and I would say maybe the interesting thing about the recent developments is that it's uh, a very international group. I was born in Romania myself, so for some reason I seem to attract Eastern Europeans. So right now I have a Romanian student and a Bulgarian student. I play all kinds of music, and I've also, in the last 10 years, performed and recorded the 32 Beethoven sonatas. In fact, now it's up to about 37, because I've recorded some of the lesser ones that are not included in the 32. So I suppose that one of my most recent passions is the music of Beethoven. I had a wonderful experience. I went to Bonn, Germany, where Beethoven was born, and they have the Beethoven archives there. And I said, would it be possible to see the originals? The director of the archive took me downstairs, and he opened a shelf, I think they're bomb-proof, and he took out Beethoven's last piano sonata, Opus 111. Touching the real thing was a truly mystical experience. I mean, I didn't even expect that it would be so powerful. And I felt like I was in touch with the master. 